In the last three years, we've seen a 30% increase in the amount of calls that we've had. For a volunteer organization is, is getting up there. Uh, we'll just listen for a signal here and let's head uh, north up the valley uh, and see if we get anything. Okay, stop. Right now, the challenge that we're facing, and I think a lot of the other teams in this province are facing, is we have a ton of people getting into the backcountry. It's become a very trendy thing to do. Social media is um, making people aware of all these beautiful destinations out there. We're certainly using aircraft a lot more because it expedites our response and reduces the amount of manpower. Whereas in the past, we're only using visual cues, which is very challenging, especially when you get into heavily treed areas. The challenge we face is getting enough resources out into the field to conduct these searches, which sometimes can go on for multiple days. It's really important for us to make people searchable. We know we have a problem here in uh, the North Shore. We thought, how on earth can we get this technology to Vancouver to solve this issue? Um, and that's when we've been in conversations with RECO ever since, trying to make it happen. Okay, so on this one, we'll just go until we reach the, basically the peak of that signal, and we'll hold there. And we'll see if we can just lose a bit of elevation, and we'll turn the game down and see if we can really make the subject in that. And the way it works, it uses radar technology. The device itself sends a signal out to a reflector that's built into clothing or equipment, and that signal is reflected back to the receiver, and we're able to pinpoint the person within centimeters. When the people are using that equipment or wearing that clothing, they become searchable. Any visual clues out there? Uh, see a little bit of blue there? Yeah, blue jacket there. Yeah, that's the one. On his subject, there you go. <laughs> blue jacket, looks like he's got a, an orange backpack on there. Oh yeah. You got the lat long there? Yeah. Okay, and command, that just to advise, we have a visual on the subject. Stand by for coordinates. This new technology allows for summer uh, hikers and campers and anyone in the backcountry to easily be found if they get into trouble. Search and rescue is a last resort, but it doesn't mean that you should rely on it. MEC's had a long history with search and rescue here in Vancouver and across the country. I think it's our duty to help people have access to this technology. So it's important that a user, if they do tell someone where they're going, or when they tell someone where they're going, they make sure that they tell them that they're RECO equipped. We will work hard now with our brand partners like MEC now uh, to be able to equip a lot of people also in the summer. We're rolling out more and more reflectors into our product. Anything we can do to help as a brand and as a retailer to make their lives easier um, and to also search for people is why we're here. It's a game changer, right? We're so excited about this.